Test it on yours though. Hi everyone, we're gonna just test to make sure that we are live on Josh's laptop. Hello. I think he's gotta refresh. Oh yeah, it's changing. Like I said um, in the previous long ago stream, I'm more used to the Twitch function, so we're still learning YouTube live. Oh, there we yeah, go. We're good. Okay. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to this live stream. I am joined by my lovely partner and I guess full-time manager now, Josh. <laughs> And I am Von Art, better known as Von Art Online. I'm Tim Von Reed and better known as Von Art. <laughs> I'm Von Art, better it's known as Von Art. It's been a while. It's been a while, guys. <laughs> um, today, we're going to be announcing the Nate Contest winners. And this is a contest that I started at the beginning of March. And it has gone through the entire month. And it is something I want to do for each of my swordplay characters as I finish their backstory chapters. So, we're going to go through those. I want to say, is there any, any news that we have before? We were at C2E2 this past weekend. That was pretty great. Uh, we're still contemplating if we're going to go to Emerald City. The coronavirus is definitely on every one of my crew's mind, and I think it's something that we are taking in consideration. So we may or may not be at Emerald City next weekend, and I guess from there we'll, we'll kind of see how con season goes. I know for a lot of artists this has been a big thing, so we're going to kind of figure out how it's going to be affecting everyone's uh, financial security and whatnot. But as I like to start every live stream, if you could put where you are watching from before we get started and people are joining in, and then we will go ahead and jump into it. And I got Josh kind of modding on the side here. He'll be helping ask the question. So if you have a question that you want answered, just put at Bonart or at Joshua Hamphrey, and that way we can better see it. Now, uh, I, I know I'm definitely feeling uh, good about any questions being thrown our way, but if you want to ask more personal, fun questions, that's fine. But if you want to ask more like art specific ones, that is okay too. Uh, this is going to be a shorter stream because it's just basically announcing the winners, but we can throw in some extra Q&A as well. <laughs> oh man, I'm recognizing a lot of these names. Oh, hey, Femme. Let's see. Got Femme. Uh, is that here? Do you want to do a quick rundown of where people are watching from? Yeah, let's go. We'll start from up here. You might have to talk like in the mic though. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have Sue from Portugal. Za from <gasps> India. I have oh! been waiting for this gift to work for when people subscribe. For oh my god. <laughs> since the beginning of the year. The last like three streams. It's not worked. Did it actually wait, wait, go scroll up. Does it actually work? There yes. it is. Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> Shoo. Um, we have Pocket Watch from Tennessee. Um, <laughs> Butter Believe It from Florida. Good name. Candy Werewolf, hi from, uh, from Iraq. Oh, and it's 11 p.m. Well, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you get some sleep. Um, we have Amsterdam. Do, 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 do. My, this chat thing jumps weird still, too. Um, oh, is it when someone replies, it automatically jumps Sometimes it jumps down, yeah. Um, we have... Oh, a bit, that's from... Basil. Basil's from Twitch, too. Mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia. We have New Zealand with Spectre. Romania <laughs> for Sarah. Well, I thank you, my Iranian, <laughs> for subscribing. Ella from Sweden. Ella, Ella. One of our wonderful mods for our Discord channel that you can join below. Or do I have links? <laughs> I think uh, you do. I thought you got that set up, right? Let me double check just to make sure. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have Mary from Brazil. We have Greece. We have Julie from France. Belgium. Georgia. And all over. I guess to help you, Josh. Um, if there's a name you'd rather be called, if we're going to start... Well, I'm going to have Josh start having a new list on the side. Because I feel like for every stream this year, it's going to be myself and Josh, and Josh is going to help me mod these, and we're going to have a, like, um, what would that be called? Um, a subscriber list, or not subscriber list, or yeah, a commenter list? Yeah. Basically, if there's a name you'd rather be called, let Josh know, and he will add it to the list. That way, we're not butchering your name. Because <laughs> not help. all of them are easy to pronounce. Because there's some that I do not even know where to start. Like, how do you say this? Sarah? Sa <laughs> <laughs> ah, hey, Sarah Vera. Sarah Vera. We have, oh my gosh, we have Italy, Argentina, Spain, Brazil, 
Korea with Candor. Oh, welcome Candor. Maximilian in Germany. Oh, Iceland. Right, Iceland? Oh, yeah. You gotta go there. I would love to go back at some time. Sarah Bear from Chile. Um, Valkyrie from South Africa. Charlie from Mexico. Dang. Noah from Madagascar. That's awesome. <laughs> Luna from Germany. Oh, hello, Greece. Hello. We have another India. Peru. Ukraine. I think I missed one. Yeah. <laughs> As they keep jumping right. in. <laughs> I know it keeps jumping well, down. Right? Out. I don't know why that does if that. You hold alt, it like pauses everything. Um, How do you find West that Virginia. Out? It was like a weird pop up thing that oh. when you first start chat up, but I don't have an alt key on. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Oh, Viva's here. Viva. Oh, Corey. Hey, oh, Corey. Corey. Oh, wait, I can make you a wrench. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you get all the abilities that a wrench has. Bam. Okay. Right, are we good then? Um, yes, yeah, so if I missed someone, I am so sorry. There is a lot coming in. And then it keeps like jumping down to the bottom of chat. I don't know why, but... Oh, I guess, wait, before we get into this, uh, did anyone play the Final Fantasy VII Remake demo? I want to hear your thoughts, because I thought it was pretty great, but I'm very biased. I've all, I'm always like rooting for Square Enix, even though they've let me down so many times the past like 10 years. But I actually have a good feeling about the remake. I don't know. I'm, I'm just feeling I might be optimistic, but I actually enjoyed the demo. And if you don't, uh, if you don't even know that it's out, you can play it right now for free on PS4. I promise, not a paid sponsor or nothing. I just really like uh, the Final Fantasy and the universe that they create. Well, that's right, though. The leg is like a minute or something on YouTube. Oh, is it? So any question that I ask, we're going to be just like sitting here like twiddling our fingers. I guess we'll just wait. <laughs> we just sit here. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we can go ahead and get started here. Wow, we have a lot of people watching today. They already planned for another remake of Final Fantasy VII in 20 years. You know, I know that I'm probably one of the few people that encourages this because um, I'm usually super against remakes and sequels, but if they ended up making remaking like Final Fantasy, like all of them, 1 through 12, I don't really need a 13 remake, I think that would be great. I think watching uh, 10 being remade and then seeing the story that I love so much not only recaptivated in the, the story that really got me as a kid, but then give it a visual upgrade and also add little extra story moments. I think that'd be wonderful. But I know a lot of people are like, you know, don't touch what's already good. And I, I actually do agree with that. So I'm on the fence about it, but seeing how good Final Fantasy VII's remake was just in the demo, I am totally comfortable with them remaking 8, 9, 10, 12, um, and even like the older ones. I'd love to see six remade. Like, have Terra and Kafka in, like, a full 3D realized environment. I think that'd be cool. I mean, I will admit I fell asleep while you played it. But <laughs> yeah, I did. thought it seemed like a pretty good demo. <laughs> it was pretty good. There's a lot. And she should just play it. Well, I know you're more excited for Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah. Don't even get me started on that. I'm just so happy. <laughs> okay, so let's officially get into this now. So... Uh, officially, for those of you who missed the beginning, I am going to be announcing the Nate Fan Art Contest along with Josh, who will be helping mod the stream. And we're going to be going through this from the runner-ups and then going from third, second to first. And basically, Nate is a character that I most closely uh, talk about in relation to like the Zuko of the group from Avatar the Last Airbender. Uh, I've always loved Zuko's arc. I like that he had like a fully realized arc that went from being kind of bad and almost unreasonably um, angry. And then he kind of mends his own, uh, not destiny, but his kind of attitude and his personality that by the end, he becomes kind of a different person. And I think that arc is actually the best in the, the series, even though I, I mean, I love the characters as a whole, but I love Zuko. So when I created Nate back in the day, uh, it started out as just being based on one of my friends, but then as it, Swordplay became kind of my own, it, Nate really developed into that type of a character who, you know, has had rough kind of, or I had a rough life, and he's trying to make amends for it, but he also doesn't care enough, and he's been pushed down so many times, he's just, he has gained such an apathy for wanting to do anything. 
So I always see Nate as like the character who could be good, but because of the way that life has dealt him the cards that he's been given, he he doesn't choose to do good. So Nate's definitely one of my favorite characters, and I'm excited to kind of flesh him out in this, the actual story. But uh, I finished his backstory chapter that you can read on my bonart.net website right now. And let me point out the prizes for this contest was for fir first place, Basically, you get five hundred dollars. You get five hundred bucks. Who doesn't need money right now? Free <laughs> and money. you also get uh, the sketchbooks one and two, which we are officially out. You don't have any, and because of the coronavirus, I don't know when we're going to be getting our books restocked. But we had enough to cover these prizes. So if you are one of the winners, you actually will get one of the books or both books, I should say. Uh, you'll be included in my swordplay uh, book. I will have like a little section, and then I'll promote you. Uh, there, you're going to get a Nate print and a tote bag, and then a shout out on Instagram, which will be posted tonight. Mm. And then second and third are both the same, but with third place, I'm going to do something a little different, and you'll see why when we announce the winners. And basically, it's the same thing, minus the obviously $400 less. And uh, honestly, though, I should have put included in Swordplay as well, because I reached out to the artists that submit, and anyone that wants to be included in like the special special section of the book that I'm making, um, I'm more than willing to include you guys because I appreciate that you took the time to actually create it. So uh, message, I guess, Josh on my official email, tvon9 with two n's at hotmail.com. And I'll put more info on the post on Instagram later. Uh, as Any questions? I, um, otherwise, I'm just going to keep talking. Oh yeah. I just ramble. Um, Avenue Teal says a little challenge for you. Do a piece in color. Using the color scheme of Vaporwave. <laughs> We're literally going to a Vaporwave party at the end of this month. So it's funny that you even mentioned that. I didn't I didn't even really know the color schemes of Vaporwave until I had to help. Um, actually, I don't know if this is a spoiler, but basically I had to help make something that was Vaporwave. And uh, yeah, I became very familiar with what Vaporwave is and kind of the irony of it. Mixed with like how good the music, well, I think the music's good. Um, but it also has a very sarcastic tone about it if you dive deep enough into Vaporwave. Um, Ella did put a link in chat too for the sword plate section. Oh, thank you. Sword plate Ella. section of the website. And then Maximilian says, What mean what means mean low-level prostitution, by the way? <laughs> uh, when I think of Nate, I think he is willing to do almost anything, and it's not even so much for the money. But it's because he doesn't respect himself. And I i mean, like I said, I have a lot that I want to do with Nate's story arc. But I feel like he's in control of it more than uh, what usually is implied uh, with prostitution. But yeah, we'll, we'll get into that when I actually write the book. <laughs> All right, we are good. Okay, so I'm going to start off with some of the runner-ups. Now... There were, a, there were a lot of good entries. I think there were just over 250. I, I don't know the official count, but um, I also felt weird because on Instagram, not everyone who tagged the Von Art Nate contest was seen on the hashtag. So I had to like look for it. And I think whenever I do the next contest, I'll have you also tag me uh, the Von Art Instagram account so that for sure you won't be missed. Cause that's how I found some people was just looking at who tagged me and they weren't on the hashtag. So very strange. I'm going to have to try to figure that out before the next contest. But let's go ahead and get some runner-ups in here. And once again, thank you guys for whoever submitted an entry. It means a lot. And I hope uh, you guys agree with the, the pickings. <laughs> there are so many good ones. Okay. So here are some runner-ups. Uh, these were ones that I felt were very much in the line of being uh, mentionable. I wanted them to get some of the spotlight, but these were the runner-ups. Now, a few of these I I liked specifically for um, how you captured Nate, and we'll get more into it when we get into the winners, but I was looking more so for who I felt best represented the character and who he is, and then threw in like their own creative twist. So these I thought were pretty fun, and uh, I, I noticed after I did my drawing with the bunny and the smoke, I just saw so many more entries with bunnies coming from the smoke of the blues that he is uh, kind of getting high off of. So it's kind of funny where before I post that drawing, there were like no rabbits. And then after I post that drawing, it was like 
all rabbits. <laughs> so you might see some of those in the runner ups here. And when I post this on Instagram, I will tag each individual artist. So if there is one that really, you know, catches your eye, just know I will post links to their accounts so that you can go ahead and follow them and check out their art. Because that's part of the reason of doing contests and kind of like the draw this in your style uh, meme that's going around is you want to promote other artists and hopefully give a shout out to them and have more eyes on them that may not normally have eyes on them. Okay, the next one we have are these four. Mm -hmm. Now, funny enough, the top right one, the, the gray one, is actually my favorite proportioned one out of the entire group. And I think to me, that looks like Nate. I, I almost wish the artist would have just done more of a, a color pass or some kind of a rendering. Because honestly, this could have been in my top three just because of the way that uh, it's proportioned. And I just love his face looks like the way I imagine it, kind of always messy. He has some blood coming out, but he's still smoking. And he like found this cat. To me, like that, that is Nate. And that body embodies him pretty well. I was like this close to putting it in the top, but there were, there were so many good entries that um, I just felt there were ones that just peeked over it. And uh, when I look at the like the bottom left, I think this one's just really fun, but I don't necessarily get like Nate vibes from it, but I just, I really like how it's uh, created. And then, like I said earlier with the bunny smoke, you can kind of see it starting to appear in the bottom right. Oh, and if you need to, you can interrupt me. Oh, you're good. Okay. Yeah, just just some chit chat going on. Okay. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I know sometimes when Sean would help me with these, I would just like go, 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 go. And then he had like questions built up and be like, I just don't know when to interject. Oh. <laughs> so if you ever need to, just be like, oh, but Tim, you're like, no. Oh, yeah. No, I, I know your monologues. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so these I really liked. And uh, the one thing that I did really like is when people captured the the lit part of his blues, the, the drugs that he takes, it shines a blue light. It doesn't shine red. And that was like one of those little details that um, quite a few of you picked up on. And I really liked uh, that you guys did that because I didn't necessarily specifically say it has to be blue, but I like that a lot of you guys picked up on that. Okay. The next ones are these four. Now this is where they start getting really kind of great. And be this became a little harder to pick from. And the bottom left one, I actually really, really like but I felt like he was a little too much of a badass for what Nate is. <laughs> Especially when I read the description, it was like he just beat someone up to save his cat. And he looks like super tough and like, get out of my way. Uh, as much as I love that attitude and the way that it was drawn, uh, to me, Nate's a little bit more of a, I don't care. Like I think he would just have walked past, but I, I really liked that one. Uh, the top left one I also really liked. It was one of the earliest entries but to me it just it kind of resembled Nate. I wish the it would have been more of a long stick cigarette uh, rather than one of the short ones but and then the other two let me see the top right one uh, it just had all these hanging battered buns mask in it to me that could represent something way deeper and I've always liked when imagery and concepts are like um, me not metaphorical or kind of those concepts like merge in an image where it doesn't have to be pure realism, but it could mean something deeper within kind of a um, mix of realism and abstraction. So I've always been into that one. And even with the bottom right one, it kind of gets along that same lines with all these hands kind of grabbing him and the smoke once again turning into the rabbits. So that is something that always intrigues me and I always try to find a deeper meaning within them. So those I really liked as well. I, was gonna say, I don't think I saw these ones. These must have been, oh, I saw the bottom left, but those see, must not I mean. be in the tag. Yeah. Cause I didn't see that one. They all look so great. I had no idea. Like I love the one in the bottom right corner yeah. too. I know that's why, cause someone, someone messaged me and said, I cannot get mine to show up on the tags. So I created a new account just to take it. And it worked on that account. Hmm. I was like, that is, I don't, strange, I don't know how Instagram yeah. works with their hashtags and why they don't always show up, but that definitely did affect um, this. Okay, the next four we have are my favorite pencil ones. Hmm. Now, I obviously have kind of a soft spot for anyone that does pencil rendering. Obviously, that's mostly what I use. And these four really stood out to me. And actually, one of them is Luva Me, who has become 
Actually, do you see they drew basically like an asteroid? Oh. When they, they did like a color pass on it, like a small one, and that one had an asteroid's sure. calico. Oh. Uh, but I definitely see it, especially with the bottom right entry, definitely a lot of the way that I like to render with like harsh contrast and like the hair being blank and um, pushing gradations to kind of push values. And then I really like the upper right one because it kind of incorporated the friend dynamic that I mentioned with Nate and his uh, childhood friend, Harry. So it kind of shows like a longing of having his face be in the smoke. And I felt like, like I said before, I like when an illustration kind of has an underlying story that can be interpreted. And uh, that one definitely spoke to me. Mm -hmm. And then so sad in that one. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where, like when I think of Nate, uh, that he, in a very rare moment, you might see him sad, but I feel he he has just grown so apathetic. You would rarely see him actually look sad. I think that's why when I was choosing the winners, I chose ones that really didn't depict him looking sad so much. I think that's why the top right one I think would have been in my top three if they made it look just a little more um, apprehensive or a little more uh, like he doesn't care, even though clearly he does. Like his body language, everything signals he does but his facial expression kind of remains that he doesn't. So even though he's like trying to hide it, you can kind of tell by the way he's positioned that he does. And the top left one I obviously really like because it's him as a child and, you know, feeling alone, he's carrying his mask. And I like that you kept the face hidden. You know, it's another one of those things that um, you rarely see someone turn a character around in a backside for an illustration, but I think it's very powerful. It almost... Uh, nudges the viewer or like antagonizes the viewer in a way that you want to know more it's like a mystery you want to unravel it and by turning the character around it adds to that complexity and I, sometimes i'm like searching for words i'm like yeah that one sounds right uh but yeah i actually do like that one though too oh 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 do you have something oh no i just amy amy's watching with oh Alice. hi amy <laughs> oh, what the baby what the baby yeah. <laughs> it was nice to meet you though amy so something else I wanted to add in is there are details that I think a lot of you got, like the, you can see it on the right ones, the X scar that he has on his right shoulder, the band-aids that he's covered in, and um, how his gloves have the four metal circles on them for when he punches things. But what was really cool is every now and then I saw, do you see it like here? <laughs> on Lula's, the bottom left one, you can see on the wall there's like little drawings and uh, there's more of that throughout the entries and actually in the, the person that won definitely had those like little Easter eggs that you would have find. Wait, hold on, I need some water. So those are were always kind of cool for me to see when I was looking through the entries. Okay. They so, really studied those reference photos. Yeah, you know, yeah. and it, it yeah. shows that they took the extra time to delve into like who is this character and like add little things. So go on, Collins. We are good, yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay, no. just so everyone knows oh. too, just sorry. <laughs> just make sure you tag Avon Art so that if it's something you want Tim to specifically acknowledge during the stream, then we can make sure to find it right away too. Yeah. But yeah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> oh um, one was here then. Right. Uh Marina says Mine wasn't showing up on the hashtag list, but on the list, Tim liked them. I searched. I like took the extra time to like find out where they were. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna get into the top three. So are you ready? Do like a little. So the third place goes to. <laughs> Sorry, that was like really loud. <laughs> Uh, it's a tie. I know that sounds kind of redundant, but no, no. I decided that I'm going to give the awards to both of these artists because I could not for life me decide between them. And I, I find so much um, that I liked in them, but they were so different, it was hard to judge. So the one on the left was a doll that someone repurposed, did the relayed in the hair, made the outfit by hand, made the gloves, made the shoes, made the mask. Uh, you can see all of it on their official uh instagram but i will share that on um my own post later so you can follow them they do a lot of uh doll making stuff and they submitted pretty early but this one really captured my attention because they have his like uh canteen that he carries on his hip 
like the size of it, the little belt, the way that I have one going down the center and then one on the side. They, they really, really nailed the details on that. And then even like the hanging um, pieces of fabric, the way that they did his gloves. So I was really impressed with how much they were able to capture on that level. And then they did add in his long uh, blues drug and they made it a blue <laughs> lit uh, light. Now the same thing for the right one. You know, there's this one's really interesting to me because I think on a technical level, I could critique it on how it's a little too soft. The edges uh, don't have much contrast and everything becomes a little muddy in terms of like color layout. But like I said, when I'm looking through these entries, I'm looking at who captured uh, Nate the best. And it's not always who is the best artist. Uh, and I think this is a case where um, I'm not trying to say they're a bad artist. I think they're a good artist. I think there's just technically things that could be um, edited and tightened and pushed. Like even his leg looks a little too long for where his knee is, like it should be down a bit. But I really think that they captured this mood of Nate where he looks kind of smug, uh, not quite sad, and he has the blue, you know, the blue cigarette. But the thing that I really liked was the way that he drew the rabbit was very subtle. Like if you miss uh, looking at the smoke for too long, you might not see that there's actually a rabbit. And I like that it was more subtle. And then they did capture all the details, the green eyes, the hair. This almost reads to me as like Nate almost like a third of the way through the story. Because part of the, what I want to do with Nate is like a visual uh, clue is when you first meet him, his hair is always very oily and in his face and kind of rag, ratchet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But throughout the story, he keeps like slowly revealing his face and it kind of is the idea of, you know, when a visual aid complements and accompanies what they're going through in like their character story arc. So by the end, I mean, I don't think this is much of a spoiler, but I guess maybe a little bit, but by the end, I kind of want his hair to be mostly pushed back and it's kind of him revealing himself more than like this covered uh, version of himself that he's been kind of displacing for a long time. So I, for some reason, that this image really stuck to me because I can see Nate becoming a little more confident. And I like that he has some of the hair back. But uh, these two, to me, stood out. And especially when the doll one came out. I mean, I showed you right oh, away. Oh, yeah. I thought that was so cool because that's never happened uh, to any of my characters before. In and terms of, like, uniqueness, I feel like that was the most, like, unique. <laughs> In terms of <laughs> medium, yeah, yeah, that they chose that. They actually had some really cool other stuff, too. I know, not following them. Yeah. <laughs> Just because I'm, I'm one of those people who follow on DeviantArt, those people that like buy a Barbie or buy a doll that comes in like stock face, and then they go ahead and edit it and make it something completely different. I just find those so fascinating. And actually, a few years ago, I tried to do my own. I bought a, get this, I got Penguin from Batman Returns at like a Goodwill. And his face looked god-awful. <laughs> I was like, I can paint this and I can make it look more like the Danny DeVito version in the movie. And it was really fun. I even bought like a little paint kit. and It was great. So I, I can respect when people do repurposing of dolls. Because I also know how hard it is to paint like so small. Like when you're painting an eyeball, I mean that is like a quarter of 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 an inch. That you have to kind of get that detail in. So yeah, congratulations to these two artists. I, like I said, I will post all these artists on my Instagram later, so you can go ahead and check them out. And uh, yeah, it was my split decision to make third place two places. Okay, you ready for second place? Yes. Oh yes. Second place goes to this one. Yeah. Now. This was another one of those earlier submissions, and to me, this really captures Nate when you first meet him. Like, kind of what I was talking about in the last post, his hair is all over his face, his, he has these piercing eyes, he kind of has this I don't give a F attitude, he's smoking his blues, and he just really seems kind of like, I mean, I don't want to call my own character like an a-hole, but he definitely comes across like a smug, arrogant, um, I, I can't say explicit words, so I'll just say that's what he came across. And when I first saw this image, to me, this is how I think Nate wants to be seen when you first meet him. That he is just this badass that can't be touched, he can't be bothered. And uh, I think this is the type of character I like to see in stories and novels that you slowly melt down this 
very uh, walled up, arrogant personality. And you kind of get to see the nugget that's inside. So this one to me really represented Nate when you first meet him. What do you, love, what do you think about this one? No, I like the boots. <laughs> <laughs> you like the cross with the tall red Oh my God, soles. yeah. No, but I like the way he's holding his hand to holding the blue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, the pose, everything about his attitude in this image is like great. And you know what really bothered me though is Final Fantasy XV did the red souls on all their characters, but I was so upset because I was like, no, I put this on my <laughs> main character and you hate that feeling where it's like, Oh, I thought of it, but even I didn't invent it. You know, this is Christian Louboutin. Oh, yeah. But I thought it was so neat for this kind of punky character to have these red souls. But then now I'm, now I'm seeing it everywhere. I'm like, oh, great. Now I look like I'm also one of the unoriginal <laughs> trying to create a cool looking boot. But I'll just take it because I, I know deep down I, I drew this long, long ago with him having red souls. So I think this one definitely deserved the second place. And as soon as I saw it, I had such a high regard of like oh this i think is gonna be in the top three so this was the second place okay you ready for wait is oh. this actually the first place yeah we're gonna get in the first place. oh Why okay. do you want to do something no right no now? i'm ready i'm just <laughs> <laughs> we got here <laughs> <laughs> okay oh which one did i no i know which one it is okay so I'll Ooh. show, because I have two images represent, or two folders representing the person that won first. So I'll show both of them. Okay, so the winner of the Von Art Nate contest and the $500 via PayPal transfer, the two books, the Nate print, the tote bag, and the inclusion in the swordplay novel goes to... <laughs> yeah, uh, this yeah. submission <laughs> and okay hold on you know what I, I feel so bad I should have had the artist I mean I definitely will take them on Instagram but I'm going to go ahead and actually name these artists just because I feel like I should be oh yeah duh this was TCK underscore TCK tick tick as I've been kind of saying in my head and Josh will be putting down oh yeah could you put down So it was this one. Cool. So this image uh, blew me away because let me show you the, since my, my streaming is in like a square format, you can't see it all in once, but he even did, or they even did a video of uh, Nate. They kind of showed like, a, it's not like how League of Legends does a, they like zoom in on the character. They kind of show the environment around it. There's this really cool instance of um, showing off the character but the environment now to me this is nate i i could not i i don't even think i could even imagine a better depiction of who the character is so he has the hair brushed all over his face he kind of has a smug i don't care look on his uh or the expression that he has he's covered in band-aid there's some blood he actually is wearing the jacket that I initially drew on character on this character to always be wearing, but I actually took it off at some point. So I noticed a few of you found in my reference folder Nate wearing this uh, hoodie and it decided to throw it back on. So I thought that was pretty cool. But if you can see, let me see how well I can zoom in here. Um, on his belt buckle, he has a battered bun um, little token keychain and he has a little duck. And it's the same duck that his friend Harry uh, wore when he was younger. It was like the, the giant beak with the big eyes. So the fact that he has these little tokens kind of hinted in the shadow area of uh, the belt, I thought was just a really cool inclusion. He has the blue smokes that he's smoking with the blue tip. And more importantly, this shot is a really hard one to draw because you're drawing almost, it's not exactly a snail's eye view, but it's definitely an undershot. You're seeing the underside of a city. You're seeing how he kind of rests in the slums. And he's, you know, all this, this pipe and all this um, kind of Akira imagery where you just kind of throw in a lot of mechanical devices and pipes and rust and all that good stuff. So when I look at this image, I really do see Nate. And I think that's why I chose this one as the first place winner. And do you have any thoughts on this one? Oh no, I love this one. And TCK did an animation too on the Instagram of it, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, this is another one too. I like everything on, especially the boots. I'm out, yeah. about, to, I'm out <laughs> about the boots. <laughs> no, this one definitely stood out though. I mean, this is one of the ones too that when we were looking. Mm -hmm. And actually, this is another one that I kind of want to point out to you guys. If I kind of squint at it, this is another good example of limiting your color palette can be a great choice uh, because then the red pants really pop even though they're not the most saturated, like they kind of are saturated in the areas that are lit, but the image as a whole is mostly like gray and light blue. And then you have these red pants and then you have his face and then you have the blue, the very, very intense blue coming from the tip of his, um, his drug. And you can kind of see how this artist really understands the idea of composition and color theory. And that's why not only did he represent Nate as a character, but I thought as an artist, they really represented it in a way that showed off their technical prowess as well as their uh, creative side. So huge congrats. Uh, I'm, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'm very happy with the submissions. I think this was a great contest. And uh, the next one will be happening sometime later this year, most likely. I keep looking at this camera, but I forgot it's this one. This oh. whole time I've been looking this way. <laughs> I look so silly. Um, but anyways. Um, I need to get the Christina backstory finished, and then we will have the next contest for her. But currently I'm working on a poker card deck, so that is the first uh, priority because I need to have that done by mid-April roughly. So if you're into playing cards, look forward to that probably in a Kickstarter late April or early May. And I think that's everything that I have for today. Any last minute thoughts? Um, just writing about the boots in chat, but... <laughs> <laughs> boots. <laughs> <laughs> it's where my eyes first go. No, I mean, everything was good. great. I mean, even the ones, the, um, the honorable mentions, I think everything mm -hmm. was great. I guess I, I can give a quick little... Piece through those. Yeah. Too, yeah. One last viewing of all the ones. It was just, uh, it was really fun to kind of get notifications every day on uh, the new submissions. And I feel like there was a lot of creativity with this one. I feel like with Red, the contest that I held last year, it definitely showed her in this very like sporty, kind of a badass female role. For with Nate, I feel like there was definitely more of a range. Like there were some sad ones. They showed him as a child. They showed him kind of getting a little too high. They showed him being angry. And to me... This contest was uh, more fun to see the entries because then you have uh, more of a range, like I said. So yeah, we'll see what happens with Christina because she's my broken shell. So I'm very curious to see what happens uh, with her entries. Okay, that's all I got. Anything you want to leave with? Um, just maybe doing a possible boot challenge then next time. A boot I challenge? Can, I can judge the boot <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm sure that'll be great. Oh yes. <laughs> all right i think that's all i have so thank you very much for coming to this uh live stream of the announcement of the winners and until next time uh we we're hoping to have at least one stream a month i, I forgot to mention that earlier so for those of you who like to see you know live either drawings or uh, i feel like sometimes i'll be showing off what we're working on whatever it might be just expect like one a month and that's the schedule we're going to try to stick to Okay, so thanks so much for coming, everyone. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.